Hey, this is JC and welcome to Small Brick City where we want to help you build a Lego city regardless of the space you have. This is another in the series of building a mock from start to finish and the project that I'm starting on today is a fire station. To be specific, it's a mini or a small fire station. And the way it all came about is, one, many subscribers did want to see me build a fire station, and two, I was waiting for the right vehicle in order to build my fire station. I didn't want to go with the big engines because that would mean that the fire station would have to be huge, at least a 48 by 48 stud base plate just to house the fire engine. So I waited for just the right vehicle to come along and this 2019 fire truck works really well. I did a review on this and you can check out the video in the link in the card above or the description below. So for my particular fire station, this will be my fire truck. So think of my fire station as an auxiliary fire station or you can consider it a fire outpost. So this is really just a first responder vehicle before all the large fire engines come from the main fire station. As such, I'll be working with a 32 by 32 stud base plate. There will be a garage to house this particular fire truck and there'll be a two-story firehouse. Now, these buildings you see here, this is my remark for the winter fire station and you can check out that video in the link above or the description below as well. This is going to be used as a negative reference in the sense that I do not want my fire station to look anything like this. The color scheme will be different, the layout and the look will be different as well. The only thing that I will be taking from this is this exterior 3D signage which came from the expert modular building fire brigade design anyway. I will be taking this, my mock of Pete's apartment which comes from the Sanctum Symptorum set and you can check out a review of this particular mock in the link in the card above or the description below as well. But I'm going to be taking this down and I'll be using the parts to create the fire station along with some other smaller parts. I sketched out the footprint of the fire station here. It is going to be odd shaped. It will be designed as a modular building in the sense that it can be set between two buildings and there'll be space for the fire truck in the garage and the firehouse will be an adjoining separate building and there'll be plenty of space for the sidewalk, a bit for the back so they can line up with other modular buildings. I've also figured out the door and that's the door to the garage for the fire truck. That is going to be tricky. How do you build a door big enough for the fire truck that is realistic and they'll fit in with the design of this particular build. But I think I've got it figured out, although I haven't built anything yet, I'll be sharing my process from the start to finish and you'll see it starting right, and you'll see it starting right now. I have found some visual references for fire stations. I googled old fire stations and I wanted to look for fire stations which have been renovated and upgraded to serve a modern purpose. And I found quite a few of them as reference. I won't be following any one fire station but I'll be taking different ideas for the garage and the main firehouse and combining them together for my mock. So the first thing I'm going to do is start off by laying out the footprint of my fire station and garage. They will be combined as one build, although they are, I guess, two separate buildings that are connected. And I'll use these one by something black plates to lay down the footprint. I have worked out what I think might work in terms of the stud size of the footprint. Uh, so let's do that now and we'll see how it fits with the fire truck inside. So this is what I've figured out so far. This is for the fire truck. The reason why I didn't tell this area is because this is where the door is going to be or the garage door for the fire truck to come out over here. I made it quite generous in terms of space because the idea is if the firemen need to reload or service this fire truck, the garage door can open and this can just go up for it slightly and there's ample space for them to work and reload equipment and do maintenance. So that's a good space for the garage. This will be the sidewalk and there's an indent that goes into the main firehouse. For the firehouse, I'm working with a 16 by 14 stud base plate. And the reason I'm doing that is I want to take advantage of uh, the bricks that I have for this 
version of Pete's apartment. So I know I have a certain amount of bricks here, so I do want to, to a certain extent, just transplant them over here, even though it will be a different design, but at least I know that I'll be working with more or less the same number of bricks, and I've got some excess bricks over here, which I can tap on as well. In terms of the entrance, this will be the main entrance to the firehouse. There is a back door. For stairs, I will be having stairs on the outside and I will be repurposing this kind of a fire escape design over here. So there'll be no stairs inside the building. This is only a two-story building. So the stairs will be on the outside and you can get to the second floor. I'm not going to have a fire pole because this isn't a big fire station. And you can now access the garage two ways. You can go through from this main, I guess this will be the office or administrative area, as well as maybe some storage area. That's why I have some lockers. That will allow people to go in here. But if you come down the stairs from the outside, you can also access the garage from the outside through this side or back door. And that's for speed because firemen, if there's an emergency, they run out and just go in straight away. They don't have to run down, make one round, get into the office and then go through here. That's why there are these doors. Uh, this particular locker is uh, taken from the Ghostbusters by HQ. So I will be recycling some parts there because they do fit into this mock as well. So that's basically, I think, my layout and my design. What I do need to do now is to kind of brick this up. Or maybe I should build the garage door first because it's a very specific design. And then I would have to build the rest of the walls around the garage door. So let's build the door first. So here's the design I've figured out for the garage. My original design was to follow a garage door which I designed previously for a bike and motorcycle shop. And that was to have these kind of door frames and windows connected together to create a large garage door and they would hinge up this way. Now the issue of that, of course, you need a lot of clearance and uh, space in front. And if there are cars here or there's a road, technically it doesn't really make sense. If it's a workshop which is nestled at the end of the road, it might be practical. But for a fire station, generally they face a main road so that there's very quick access for the fire engine to get out. So I've decided on a, another route. I'm going to make this a folding door, but it's going to be accordion styled. So I'm going to use these pieces and I'm also going to use hinges like these, these are hinging plates, as well as some towels and plates to connect everything together. And let's see what happens. So here's the design for the door. I might not even put a glass panel here. You understand why in just a bit. So the door be hinged to some kind of column over here. And it will basically hinge open like this, so you can open it this way and it accordion folds like that. So see, it hardly goes out to the road, very neat. And there's still ample space for this truck to come through. I won't call it ample space, but there's definitely space for the truck to come through like that. So let's see how this can go. Now I need to figure out, uh, well, this probably has to be flat. so this has to be taken out so it has to be like that and at the same time I would need to see how we can put a column here if I put a column here I need to be able to open this up let me just make sure that this is 16 studs wide because that was what it was supposed to be ah, it's not so I made a mistake here this was supposed to be 16 studs wide, that's why it seems a bit off. So I have to redo the footprint here uh, so that this is 16 studs wide and, and this goes in. This is much better now, so this is correct. And as always, we always make mistakes. That's all part of the building process and uh, it's just part of the build. Now, I'd just like to highlight to you, 
they will be sharing a wall so the two separate sections of the build there's the firehouse and the garage now even though they're sharing a wall the shared wall will be double the thickness and the reason is because each of them will have their own modular style roof uh, in order to be put on if they just shared one um, wall or a single brick wall the problem is there'll be no support for one side of the roofs or this level over here that's why it's double the thickness so Oh, this is not a door. This is supposed to be a locker. So there will be walls here. So just to give you an example, imagine that there are going to be walls here. So that will build up and the locker will open to the wall. So that's basically it. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's come back to this door over here. Now you can see how this is going to work. I do need to build up supports all the way uh, so that this can open up nicely like that and this area actually needs to be toweled for it to work nicely so i will take some towels to open this uh, to place it here so this can slide open easily and i should uh, point out one thing during the process of thinking of how this should be done if i built let's say a solid wall okay and let's use this panel as an example if this were to build, be built solid there's no way for this door to open because of the thickness of the door frame here so you need to have something uh, either triangular or round in order for this to open and close if not it would get caught same thing if it were to come back th there will not be enough clearance for it to close even with this bending kind of frame you think it'd be easier to just kind of slot it in but you see it is really tough to do that so I solved that by not using uh, solid bricks over here I'll be instead using these round bricks on each side so there'll be a round brick over here or a stack of round bricks to be precise and a stack of round bricks over here so that's for visual symmetry let's uh, I'll yeah let's get that right and this allows this door then to clear because this is really a circle so there's enough clearance for it to just come through like that so this will be the front of the garage but i think it works it gives a bit of visual texture i always like to bring in curves and round shapes to a otherwise square build it makes it look more interesting and it also has a functional approach because now i can just open the garage door easily so let's put the tiles and let's try to build up this area of the garage. Okay, so this is where we're at. It's been quite a long process. Now I should mention what you see here it's just built structurally it won't be so plain i just wanted to fill up the gaps eventually i do want to put some texture and masonry bricks and also reposition the windows but this is just to build it up enough to see how the garage will look like and just to get an idea of the structure and generally i'm happy with it except for these windows which are changed this looks i think pretty good so if you can imagine the truck is in just like that maybe the windows can go down just a bit and of course the all-important garage so here's the garage door let's see what i've done so the first thing i did was to build the garage door which you saw it goes on hinges and what i've done is really just sandwich it between uh, these plates and bricks so it's really solidly in there and I put the stack of round bricks on either side and the reason was it's needed as mentioned so that you can open and close this door easily now, I kept everything up with this 16 stud long bar and this is a Technic bar uh, so it's nice and solid and I also can add decorations later on or I could leave it bare because it does look a bit you know grungy and industrial so the way this works it would just open and you can hinge it this way and that's pretty neat because the fire truck can then go inside just like that 
and then we can close it. So we we'll probably have to see if we can stabilize this even more. But if we add plates underneath, the only problem is this will be raised up by one plate. So either we be careful or I figure a way to raise this by one plate, then I'll have to raise the entire interior by one plate as well. So I'll think about that. If not, this is how it works. And now we have the fire truck safely inside. I think I'm gonna end this video here because it gives you enough of an idea of uh, what I needed to get to just come up with the structure. So this is really just the footprint, but it allows me now to have a working idea of what I'm dealing with in terms of size, uh, the bricks I need, and I can think about uh, creating that textured look for the actual building. And this is of course before we even get to the second floor. So do me a favor, let me know if you like what you see so far or if you saw anything wrong and you'd like to give some feedback or comments for improvements, do let me know in the comments below. In the next video, I hope to build up the entire first level of both the garage and uh, this firehouse here. I won't do any of the inter interior detailing just yet, although I will kind of plan as I go along what I expect the interior to be. And then in the third part, I hope to do the top or the, the second story of the firehouse and probably the roof for the garage. And in a subsequent part, I'll do all the detailing. I think we're on track. This first part, uh, although it seems a bit mundane, does take a bit of working out uh, to come up with the layout. In this case, it has to be really functional space as well as this working garage door so that it works for the intended use of this fire station. Well, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't, please subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so you get notified of the next video in this series. Thanks for watching. Check out these two videos before you go.